Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Isai James and I'll be showing you key mapping for your controller. I use a controller and I also use game loop. So uh, when I was looking in to find out how to key map it myself, I was having trouble with finding videos that would uh, that show me what I wanted to know. It was like, and so it wasn't working correctly. It didn't give me enough information. It was pretty vague. So uh, here we go. So I'm all, I have Call of Duty open. And it's like uh, to do your key mapping. Let's uh, let's bring up the full screen. All right. So here we go. All right. So I just have my regular lobby open. Well, it's not the lobby. It's just the sign-in screen. So when I hit the key mapping button, it's like as long as you have a controller connected. First, you will need to connect your controller via um, Bluetooth. Um, or you could just connect it straight into your computer using a wire. I myself I use Bluetooth. So as you can see right here I have mine mapped and these are the settings. You are going to want to place yours on your screen. Use your screen to place them exactly where I placed mine at. This is the Battle Royale. I say again Battle Royale settings because it is different in between the Battle Royale and the multiplayer for the placements. Um, um, I use the X for reload, I use the B for uh, um, crouching and sliding, A for jump, left trigger to aim down sights, right trigger to, uh, to fire the weapon, you need to uh, enable over here to the side where it's got the left stick and the right stick, that'll be your movement and your look, you can place those on the screen wherever those ones do not matter, it's all like that. Uh, Everything else matters is like and then for battle royale for the left button I use that so that I can get into my backpack I use the up button here so that I can get uh, so that I can use the heels Why to change off of the weapon now? It's different on battle royale than it is on multiplayer So when I use the Y to change my weapon that will change my primary weapon over to the knife and um, I have the down button button selected and I use the down button to get to my secondary weapon. And if I hit the Y button after that, it'll take me back over to the, the primary weapon. And I hit the Y button again, I can switch over to the, uh, to the knife and so on. I use the RB button for the, um, whatever that you have for your, uh, um, your lethals. Is like, and then so uh, I use the RB, which would be like a frag, Nova Gas, something like that. So like uh, that or whatever it is that you're carrying the R button, RB button. That's the way that I set it up personally. You can set them up any way you want. You can have whatever you want, but the placement of the circles where the button goes into it, that's what matters. So if I was to just click on this screen right here, it would add a button. So I can then so and if I pull my trigger, then it would tell me that that's already been assigned to something. So I would not be able to place that again. But I can place anything else again afterwards, so I can. So, but mine is already set, and I'm not going to change it. But that's just that simple. It's like you click on the screen, you get the uh, option to add a button. It's like, but the placement of it is key because when you're going off of the, what it is for a mobile game, it's like then, um, you're uh, going through here, and you, uh, it's very, it's the specific places where you put them at are the same places that a finger player would be touching the screen at so uh, that's a uh, so I suggest you just to copy what I have placed and it will work absolutely fine for you I use the right joystick is like where the placement of that is is for so that I could tag my enemies is like I in battle royale so I tap in on what would be the R3 button and it will tag the enemies and you can see over here where it says the the back button is like where the placement that I have is that is for my um, my ability. It's like um, like if I'm the I'm the medic and I want to use the heal, or if I use uh, the people that make you go invisible, or if I use the ninja and I'm uh, using the uh, the it's your ability. So use the back button, and that's what I personally use so that I can get to the so that I can use my ability quickly. It's like, and not all things will work. It's like, um, if you're going to bring up the map, um, that right there is uh, it switched over to keyboard. We don't want that to switch over. And then so, uh, um, um, 
you can set a button to the map, you can set a button to settings, you can set uh, buttons to lots of different things. Turn off your chats and whatever. It's like an into a, you have lots of buttons on the controller and you can use them all in different ways. So that is Battle Royale. So now we'll switch over to multiplayer. And you can see as it moves over, the placement of the keys is like the, where they are on there, the buttons are in different. You see the um, Battle Royale raise up and then they'll drop back down. And then so uh, um, in certain ones is like and then so uh, I have the right stick for my uh, my looking around down in the bottom right hand corner. What I said that um, you need to uh, enable the left stick and the right stick. They're just it doesn't matter as much on them on the placement of them. The key part is where the, and the hardest part is getting your left trigger and your right trigger where you want them. You can visually if you're playing the game. You could go through and place the buttons over the top of things that you know that um, have an action. It's like, uh, say, your ability. I use the back button again on there. The left trigger is to aim down the sights. Right trigger is to fire. It doesn't show you on the screen where those are, so it's very sensitive on where to place them. So I suggest that this is the multiplayer, and the other one is, this one is for the Battle Royale. Multiplayer, Battle Royale. So we'll go back to the multiplayer. And so I have the A for the jump button. B is for my crouch. X is for my reload. And once again, the RB is for my lethal. Y button on multiplayer will switch you between both weapons. There's like a, no problems with that whatsoever. That's a little different than what it is, as I said, for Battle Royale. And then I use the directional buttons left down and right for kill streaks and then so uh that's uh, pretty much it that'll cover it and uh with saying that i'll uh, i'll show you and i'll do a run through on a multiplayer so let's bring this screen back up for me and make sure that my controller is connected it is so we will go to multiplayer see I still have to use the mouse to click over to the multiplayer so I'm doing that now and waiting for it to switch over Network error, try again. Alright, so let's try that again. Alright, so now we're in the multiplayer. So, to do this, we'll just go, we know what, we'll go actual multiplayer. So, instead of practice versus AI, we will go to, we'll go to frontline here, and we'll confirm. So, frontline random multiplayer. I have my controller in hand and I'm ready to play. My buttons have been mapped out to where I want them to. Screen's loading. Match is loading. We've got Frontline Kill House. And if you are a controller player and you use the game loop, it's, uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. And if you're a great controller player, then it will work great for you. Just copy what I have in place exactly, and it'll work for you just fine. So, waiting for it to load. Got our little screens up. Now, as you can see, I'm looking, I'm moving, I have the controller, I'm going. Aim down sights, and fire with lag. But maybe I killed somebody, maybe I didn't. If we get past the lag, that's my own personal issue there. Is I, um, if you don't have lag, then you won't have any issues. Aim down sights. And hit fire. Oh, we killed somebody. Way to go, me. We got a runner. Contact with we got him too. Cover me. Reloading. So 
We're moving around. And we've got lag again. But if I didn't have lag, this would be going phenomenal for me. I can jump. Oh, I'm stuck in a wall. And I'm shooting a teammate. I can slide. Got an individual looking at us. As you can see, I have that if you press the aim down sights, I have to press it again to turn it back off. So lag is my problem at the moment. Since the the update, I think maybe they have some bugs to work out because they have a lot of stuff going on. And I've been lagging a little bit since. Maybe I need to adjust my settings overall. And let's toss out my lethal. are just ripping right through them. But as you can see, the mapping itself works. Just my, uh, my lag affects my bullets. Oh, and I'm out of bullets. So let's get the pistol out. get the idea of it. Looks like we need 15, 15 more and this match will be over. Well, we picked yourself up a sentry gun. I say we have the directional buttons to place. Kill streak rewards. And of course, hip fire is phenomenal just all by itself. And there we go. There you have it. Key mapping for both Battle Royale and for multiplayer. I promise you the Battle Royale works as well. And uh, if you uh, like the video and find it to be informative, please, by all means, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button, and you'll get more content. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. You are uh, awesome. And uh, we'll hopefully 